Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, and this is episode 25. Um, this is a continuation of a previous episode that I did with SCCM. This is actually part two of many coming uh, to you guys. Uh, this one is going to be nice and sweet and uh, hopefully simple. Uh, so, they, so today's episode is basically uh, setting site boundaries and verifying the site name is configured in Active Directory. Okay. So, within your um, your SCCM console, within site management uh, and your site code, whatever site code you guys have, expand that and your boundaries. I already have a boundary already set up. I'm going to delete this boundary, get it out of here, and we're going to create a new boundary. New boundary. I want to give it a short description. Okay. Now, there's about four different types of uh, boundaries that you can create in your environment. Um, I'm just going to keep it real short and simple and do an Active Directory site. Okay. Now, within the Active Directory site, you need to know the AD site name. Okay. The AD site name is normally called or is the default name as default first site name. Uh, the way that you can actually find out what's your AD site name, if you go to your domain controller and you open up Active Directory Sites and Services, it's actually located in Start, Administrative Tools, and it's right here. I already have it open. You see that that's, what's the, that's the default name for uh, the Active Directory site name. So if you want to make a little bit of modification and you want to like uh, brand it, hey, you can actually change this name. So I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it as BJ Tech News. Okay. And there we go. Now, within the SCCM console, when you get to this portion right here, you hit Browse. It's SCCM is actually going into the Active Directory and trying to find that information. If it picks it up, you see it right here. If you didn't change the name, you're going to see the default first, first name site thing right here. Press OK. Okay. Now at the very bottom, you have a network connection. You have only two options. Depending on how slow your network is, and you know, you can actually pick this. But by, by default, fast and LAN is it. Press OK. Okay. And that's about it, guys. That's real short, real simple. That's how you would create an active um, boundary in your um, infrastructure. Uh, most likely, this boundary is going to be going into um, into Active Directory and it's going to start talking again. If you guys do not want to do the Active Directory, you do have three other options that you could pick. You know, if you have an IP range of certain machines, like you say, let's say you only have uh, one subnet in your network, and that subnet is 192, 168, 192, 168. I don't know, one zero to ending 192, 168, 254, 254. Uh, this boundary is going to go out of your network and find whatever address or whatever computer is assigned to these IP addresses, and that's what you're basically going to see inside um, the computer management and the collections portion. But for now, I'm just going to go over how to set up the boundaries. That's about it, guys. Uh, please check out my, my blog at BJ Tech News dot wordpress.com as also follow me at twitter at bj tech news and uh, leave a comment subscribe to my channel show some love and i catch you later thanks